these girls played an outstanding game. Uh, and they played an outstanding two games. Uh, they beat a very, very good Arizona team. And, and I tell you, they did it because of the fact that they st stayed with the plan. They were pulling for each other. Um, they went out and executed the things that needed to be executed. We got great pitching. We played good defense, and, and we had timely hitting. So, you know, that's, the, that's kind of the chemistry. I, I'd also like to take a, just a second to thank a few people. The fans today were phenomenal. I mean, two days in a row, it was, it was hot and, and humid, and I'll tell you, they were out there. They're, they're sunburned. They're beat red. But I, I tell you, they never left, and they supported us uh, the entire way. And they're very, very special people, and I know I just want to say thank you. The grounds crew did a phenomenal job keeping the field ready. Uh, I want to say that, and and again, uh, these young ladies have have started, uh, you know, their journey, you know, for a national championship, and they just need to continue along the lines that they are uh, currently doing, and uh, it, it could be a very, very <coughs> good World Series for us. We were just trying to figure it out. Uh, this morning, we sat down, talked to the girls. I, I asked them to think about all that we have accomplished this year because we could go all the way. This team is dominating. And since we have everything, we have the pitching, we have the hitting, we have the defense, there was no reason why we shouldn't go to Oklahoma City. And we just have to beat them twice. Uh, they had to beat us one more time, and we were ready. We, we came out with a full tank of gas, both games. <laughs> um, I asked Madison Diggy after the game uh, last night, and I asked her what she saw. She said it looked like we just weren't sticking to our plan. The batters, the lefties weren't sticking to their plan, and they were chasing that change up and still going for the inside and rolling over it. And so we, we made up a plan, and we were looking outside, and I wasn't going to swing at an inside pitch besides a change up, and that's what other lefties did too that's what we stuck with so we really did I really did get my plan from Madison Dickey so <laughs> yeah um, I think it's just been a huge uh, part of our team this year just like to pick up the person uh, if they don't do their job before you and uh, you know our batting lineup solid all the way through Jade just barely missed that bunt, and she was like, pick me up. And I knew that, you know, there was runners in scoring position. I just wanted to put a good swing on a good pitch, <coughs> and I got it. And it just happened to be a double. How does it feel to finally hit another home run after? <laughs> it, it was actually kind of funny because right before that, we were in the dugout, and I was like, it's funny that Tiffany Howard has more home runs than me. <laughs> and then after I hit it, I was like, Tiff, only one more until I catch you. <laughs> it felt really good. How challenging is it to try to regain your composure a little bit more too with the stakes so high after the loss? Um, I think that just like having the hitters that we have in our lineup um, has really helped me because of I know there's a lot less pressure on me because I know that whoever is behind me or in front of me is going to get the job done. So that takes less pressure off me. Um, but at the same time, I just know that I got to lock in and do whatever I can to get on base and help score runs for my team. Bailey, talk about getting a second chance at Arizona today. What did that mean to you? <clears throat> it meant a lot, knowing that I didn't have to pitch first game and Michaela did an incredible job and getting the win to go to the second game. It's just a great feeling to know that I get a second chance and to go out there and show them that we are better than them and that we deserve to go to Oklahoma City. Had no strikeouts and no walks. Is that, is that a Coley Myers pitching? Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> maybe a little more strikeouts would have been nice, but yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah definitely. Corey, just talk about the pitching performances today. Uh, unbelievable today. Uh, I, I'm extremely proud of the youngster over there. It was a attitude I haven't seen out of her in a long time. If you go back and watch that game, she had a smile on her face the whole time, um, and, and I think. Going into the postseason, if she can keep that mentality, uh, we're going to go a long way. Because Kaylee did what she's been doing since the SEC tournament. She, she's a grinder. She battles. And it was just really exciting for me as the pitching coach to see uh, these two kids just go out there and <coughs> pitch like we've been practicing without a worry uh, of who
who's in the batter's box or what the situation is. And uh, it's amazing that it happened today because we're we're very fortunate that both of them had the outing they had today. Is your family really nervous at all because of the situation <laughs> and the pressure? Um, no. Um, <laughs> I mean, I've been put in stressful situations before and it's turned out fine. I mean, I knew exactly what I had to do. I've been preparing all year and um, I haven't been that bad. <laughs> <laughs> there was a, there's not much stress to you, it. You come in here as a freshman and you you pitch, pitch against Florida in your first SEC game and then you pitch today in a game that if you lose, the season's over. Could you have ever imagined it was going to be you can have yeah, that much on you? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, through the whole season, I know the coaches had a lot of expectations of everyone. So, I mean, I wasn't – it wasn't that much pressure. I mean, if they put me in any situation, I'll, I should be prepared to be able to handle it. I mean, that one. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I mean, we were just trying to go out there and play us. She's given up. She's hit a lot of home runs, so we were trying to take that away from her and pitch our game. I think having the off speed and being able to keep the ball down is what kept her in the park. So, I think we both did a good job at that, and that's what that was the difference. Oh, we're on the road. <laughs> we're on the road. No, I mean, again, I couldn't uh, echo the, the sentiments that uh, Corey just it just made. Our, our pitchers did a great job, and the pup down there kind of grew up a little bit. You know, I mean, uh, she's not a freshman anymore. She's a seasoned vet, and you know, she's going to get the ball in, in OKC, and uh, we expect uh, you know the same kind of performance. Our expectations are high, you know, for for everybody, and of themselves. So, uh, it was great performance by both these young ladies. We did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just getting old. Uh, <laughs> no, I, well, yeah, you, you do what you have to do. They're not pitching the coop, all right. And uh, you know, Emily has just you know had the opportunity to swing a bat, and if they're going to walk coop now, Emily's going to you know swing the bat with somebody on base. And you, again, you saw what she was able to do. Uh, we get second and third, they both score later. So, I mean, y these are things that, you know, are, are important. And, and we're going to do whatever we have to do in, in order to, uh, you know, to win. And if, if shuffling the order around, you know, again, that's, uh, that's up to us. The, the girls see their name, they're happy, and they go out and play the best you know, softball they can. And, and as you said, you four years now, you played your last game at, at Jane B. Moore Field. Is it, is it surreal at all where you come from? Is it, excuse me? Surreal at all, where you come from, where you are now. You're going to two straight World Series. I mean, yeah. I mean, just look at look at what Auburn's accomplished with these coaches being here. And, I mean, that was the expectation that we were going to go to Oklahoma City and we're going to win it all the way. And that's our goal from the very beginning. Um, as a senior playing my last one here, I, I like how it ended. <laughs> We're more prepared this year. The first time we win, it, it was new to us. The only ones that have ever been to the World Series was Coach. And now we know what to expect. We know what the field's like. We know it's a little hard. We know, we know that the foul lines are farther than ours. Um, we, know how, we know how it goes there now. Um, but yeah, we're excited. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> Nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see her out there. Uh, nice to see her uh, barrel a ball. Uh, she did great, and you still got one more to catch up to too. Yeah. One more home run. <laughs> <laughs> Emily, you got. I mean, excuse me. Hey, you got another year left. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you expect to be back in shortstop next year, next season? I expect to be in the field wherever coach <laughs> wants me. That's where I'll be.
That's a politically correct answer. Mike's a good friend, you know, and uh, our, our relationship is is uh, is a strong relationship. It's not going to change over you know, who wins or loses a game. And my respect for him is is amazing. You know, he helped he's helped me through my career. Uh, I've gone you know many times to his house. I mean, um, you know. Would I like to see Mike Andrea at the College World Series? Yeah, I would have loved to have competed against him there. But uh, you know, when we get between the lines, it's competition. And you know, and today was our day. And, and again, I, I can't say enough great things about these ladies and what they were able to do. Uh, you know, it's it's kind of like beating uh, Florida and Alabama in the same day. You know, they're. That prepared us. I mean, the, uh, the lessons that they've learned through the course of this season have, have made them who they are, and uh, they, it's it's phenomenal. Kevin Lynch, good morning. After you lost the Texas A&M party, since then I guess you've won like eight out of nine. Was there was there ever a time when you when you said, "Man, this thing's coming apart"? Um, I mean, Texas A&M was a long time ago. <laughs> um, we're we're past that now. Uh, it was a little bump. It wasn't a slump for our team. It was just a bump. It was a hump. It was a hiccup. Uh, but I mean, for Texas, I mean, I I don't really know what to say about Texas A and M game game because now we're looking we're looking forward. I mean, we came out prepared. We learned. We learned from it. <laughs> said before like I was just off you know um, and that swing I mean that just meant a lot to me just being able to get that get us on the board first so I mean that swing was just it felt really good. <laughs> mm -hmm.